What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and two Burning Abyss monsters have been revealed for new challengers. Well, we already knew about them because of the leaks, but now we have the official, you know, pictures of the cards and everything, and uh, the official effects and all too, because it was on the Konami blog. Anyway, the first one we have is Virgil, Rockstar of the Burning Abyss. We talked about it before, but I'm going to go ahead and read off its effects and everything again, since everything's 100% confirmed. And I'm really glad that it actually has Rockstar in his name too. That wasn't 100% confirmed before, and I'm glad they actually stuck with with that, so that's pretty awesome. Anyway, it is a uh, level 6 light spellcaster synchro monster. It requires one tuner, one or more non tuner monsters. It has a 2500 attack, 1000 defense, and its effect is you can only control one Virgil Rockstar of the Burning Abyss once per turn. You can discard one Burning Abyss card, then target one card your opponent controls or in their graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can draw one card. You can only use the effect of uh, Virgil Rockstar Burning Abyss once per turn. So yeah, it's an amazing card for Burning Abyss. I can't wait uh, for this one to come out. It looks like it's going to be Secret Rare. I don't know if that was... I think it was supposed to be Secret Rare or something like that. So unfortunately, it's probably going to be a pain to get this card. But it's a, a new, really cool card for them. So I can't wait. Uh, after that, of course, we have the uh, finally have the effect for the uh, tuner monster that goes for the Burning Abyss, and that is uh, Rubik Malbranch of the Burning Abyss. It is a dark level 3 fiend tuner monster, 100 attack, 2100 defense. If you control a monster that's not a Burning Abyss monster, destroy this card. Cannot be used as a synchro material except for synchro summon of a Burning Abyss synchro monster. If you control no spell or trap cards, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can lose the effect of Rubik uh, Malbranch of the uh, Burning Abyss once per turn. So it's just plain and simple, really. It's a it's a monster that you can easily special summon when you have no uh, spell or traps on your side of the field, and then go for a synchro summon for Virgil. I mean, it's just kind of a plain and simple, and I kind of like that, too. I guess it's not as good as its unconfirmed effect that we were hearing about that was rumored, I don't know, a couple weeks ago? Something like that. Uh, but yeah, I still like this card. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's one that can be special summon fairly easily, and uh, go for Virgil. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I Also, I'm kind of wondering if maybe we'll see more synchros of a Burning Abyss in the future or something, too, since it does say, you know, synchro summon a Burning Abyss synchro monster. I don't know, just kind of wondering. Maybe we'll just have Virgil, but uh, it'd be kind of cool to even see more in the future on that. But yeah, what do you guys think about this? Uh, both these cards, I guess, really. Are you interested in them? Not so much. Do you think uh, Burning Abyss will run without them? Or do you plan on using these new cards? Yeah, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I can't wait for these cards. And also, one more thing before I end. It looks like Rubik, uh, the tuner for uh, Burning Abyss, looks like he's going to be an ultra rare, too, from that. Because he has the gold writing on his uh, picture, too. So, at least that's not going to be secret rare as well. I was wondering about that. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Thank you for watching. And all the info in the description, alright? Later, guys.